Why are there so many people who are unsuccessful in their online business, even if they've bought courses, they've gone through cohorts, they've watched a lot of YouTube videos, and still they seem not to get any results? The one single word I come up with is context. And this is probably the most important concept that you're gonna need in order to succeed in your online business. So what is context? Context, by definition, is the circumstances that form the setting for an event, statement or idea and in terms of which it can be fully understood and assessed. Context is essentially the whole picture, the broad picture of how an event or situation is gonna happen. The problem with a lot of courses and products and services is that the first is that the buyer don't understand the context that the seller has made up. They don't understand what the purpose of the whole picture is and that's why it's really easy to buy and be hopeful and it triggers your emotion that yeah this is gonna be the next big thing but you only end up with broken dreams the thing here is that your self-awareness and your understanding of, of the situation they've made up is is flawed once you understand who the seller is why they sell it you're gonna understand yourself and, and the situation a lot better. Let's take for example one very successful like course creator and, and entrepreneur called Dan Cole. He sells these writing courses, he got this digital economics and I know a lot of people who's, who's gone through them. The issue I've seen with people going through that is that they think that yeah I'll just follow everything this guy says and I'm gonna be successful. That's not the case because he's built his product in a way that it's compelling to a lot of people. So it's it's rather general advice. It's not specific to you. He don't ask you what your problems are, your situation, where you live, what, what, what you've done in your life. Once you understand this, you can take information from that course, but you have to implement it into yourself. And that's where your self-awareness comes in and, and your awareness of the other person. So there's like this double awareness thing. And if you can match these, then you can start seeing traction in your life because you understand what you take from those products, how you use it to your own benefit. This is why context is so important in everything. You need to understand who the seller is, what's their purpose, what's their backstory, how are they moving people, what's their mission. And, and once you understand these, you will in many cases see that, oh, this is just like brilliant marketing and, and brilliant sales, but it doesn't necessarily help you. And, and this is the problem why so many people waste a lot of money on courses and, and stuff that they don't actually use. They never implement it. I think there's a statistic that 80% of people who buy courses never open them. They never go through them because they're just so curious when, when there's a well-crafted sales page and there's well-crafted messaging that you need this stuff but actually you don't even do the things that, that they say. This is what I see in a lot of my clients too. They think like, yeah, okay, I, need, I just need this next thing, but they don't ask themselves, okay, why do I need this? And who is the person selling it? And once you start figuring this out, your shopping habits becomes a lot different. So there's a second point here also, and, and that's with services. And I know a lot of cohorts and, and people who want to scale and even some one-on-one -on -one coaches, they're not that interested in their clients. And this is the problem because they don't want to understand the context of the client. That comes down to like kind of egoistic needs. Uh, they want to, to sell a lot. They want to make money. They want to be successful. They don't want their client to be that successful. But a great coach, 
is more interested in their client than they are interested in their own benefits. And this is why research and, and really digging deep into the process of, of how can I help the client to become the best version and, and to have the best business experience they can. And that's what I do. I'm really interested in the backstories. I, I have this longer process of really going through everything that has happened before and what they really want and what they need because then I have a clear understanding of the context and I can give so much better advice. So this is just a heads up for you to not just go spend your money on, on some big shot who sold a lot of, of courses and you think that that's going to be your your next savior it might be that the the people starting out that are really interested in in your life and and your success they're gonna be probably the better alternative for you to really get from that zero to one success once you get over that and you've made your first money online and you have a little bit of traction you have social proof then those bigger creators, gurus, advice become more relevant. But I want to help people who struggle to, to get that first motion because I've been there. That, that was just a horrible thing. I bought courses. I've bought a lot of different stuff. And, and I, I'm even in a, in a small group where we share all our, our knowledge and, and products and courses. I have too much information. Those didn't help me. What helped me was to, to go deep into myself and then ask advice from people that I know who, who know my story and so on. The best way to get forward and, and to get your business up and running is to hire a coach or consultant or guide that's really interested in you, who's willing to put the time and effort into actually genuinely get to know you and help you. Okay, does this make sense about the, the context? Because once I understood that business is always about context, it's about understanding both parties, even when you, you buy something from the store, you're gonna be so much smarter about the choices you make and you're not gonna regret it because you kind of start thinking ahead of time. And that's the point with spending money is that you start to think ahead of time and you're gonna make better choices okay i hope this was helpful my name is mitz please like and subscribe to my channel comment what you think of this context concept i'll see you in the next one peace out